Microsoft just revealed something wild. An AI system that can diagnose diseases more accurately than real doctors. The AI system is called MAI-DXO, short from Microsoft AI Diagnostic Orchestrator, and it's already being talked about as a major breakthrough in healthcare. It scored 85.5% accuracy in diagnosing tough medical cases. That's more than four times higher than what experienced doctors managed in the same tests. So now people are asking, is this the beginning of the end for doctors? But don't jump to conclusions just yet. Let's break this all down in simple words and see what this really means. Instead of one AI making decisions alone, MAI-DXO is built to act like a group of specialists having a discussion. One AI lists possible diagnoses, another picks the best tests, one challenges the group's thinking, one watches the costs, and another checks for quality. They work together to figure things out, just like a real medical team would. Microsoft calls this method the chain of debate. The AIs actually argue, question each other, and keep updating their reasoning as new details come in. This makes the system behave more thoughtfully, avoiding quick guesses and instead working through problems like doctors do during case discussions. When tested on 304 challenging cases from the New England Journal of Medicine, MAI-DXO got the correct diagnosis 85.5% of the time. The human doctors, even with years of experience, only got around 20%. Even the best single AI model, OpenAI's O3, scored 78.6%, which shows just how effective the team-based design of MAI-DXO really is. MAI-DXO calls the OpenAI's O3 scored 78.6% of the time. When it comes to cost, MAI-DXO is surprisingly efficient. On average, each diagnosis with this system costs about $2,396. In comparison, doctors in the same test setup ended up costing around $2,963 per case. That's a 20% drop in cost. Compared to regular AI tools, it's even more impressive. MAI-DXO reduced costs by 70%, compared to other standard AI models that weren't working in teams. So the system not only gives better answers, it also saves money. And that's something hospitals and clinics are definitely paying attention to. Instead of giving all patient information at once, Microsoft built something called the Sequential Diagnosis Benchmark, or SD-Bench. In this setup, the AI doesn't see everything up front. It has to ask questions, run tests, and update its thinking just like a real doctor would in a clinic. This matters because diagnosing people in real life is a process. You don't get all the answers in one go. You look at symptoms, ask questions, maybe order some blood work, and adjust your thinking as results come in. SD Bench tries to copy that experience to see how well the AI works in a real-world style environment. One of the coolest things about this system is that it's not locked into a single AI model. Microsoft made it model agnostic, that means it can work with different AI engines, like those from OpenAI, Google, Meta, Anthropic, XAI, and others. In testing, the best performance came when using OpenAI's O3 model, but all the versions showed improvements compared to regular tools. That flexibility means hospitals or healthcare systems might be able to use this technology no matter what type of AI provider they choose to work with. It's like giving the system a flexible brain that can be upgraded as new models come out. Some experts are super impressed. Dr. Eric Topol, a well-known voice in health tech, said the results were startling. He couldn't believe how big the accuracy jump was. In his view, this kind of performance could really shake things up in medicine. But others are more cautious. Critics pointed out that doctors in the study weren't allowed to use any help. No textbooks, no consultations with colleagues, no AI support. That's not how doctors normally work in real hospitals. Plus, these were complex cases chosen for their difficulty. Most everyday medical visits are simpler. Also, the test didn't include healthy patients or track how often the AI might say someone is sick when they're not. That matters too. False alarms in medicine can cause a lot of stress and lead to unnecessary tests. So while MAI-DXO looks very strong in this research setting, it still needs to prove itself in everyday real-world clinics. Even though the results are exciting, 
the system isn't something your doctor can use yet. Microsoft says it still needs to go through safety testing, clinical trials, and approval from health regulators. Until then, it stays in the research stage. That means no one is replacing doctors with AI anytime soon. But the fact that it's being taken seriously by the medical community means we could see trials in real hospitals in the near future. MAI DXO comes from a new health-focused AI unit inside Microsoft, launched in late 2024. It's led by Mustafa Suleiman, who helped to start Google DeepMind. He brought over a team of top researchers, including experts in both AI and healthcare. Their goal is to create AI tools that can actually make a difference in hospitals and clinics. They're calling it a step toward medical superintelligence. Not a replacement for doctors, but something that helps make better decisions, especially in tough or confusing cases. If MAI DXO lives up to its promise, it could help in areas where healthcare access is limited. People in remote towns or developing countries might get high-quality diagnostic help, even if there aren't enough trained specialists nearby. It might also cut down on mistakes or unnecessary testing, which could save time, money, and stress for patients. And for doctors, having a tool like this could mean a safety net, a second opinion that's smart, fast, and always available. So here's a question. Would it feel safer knowing your doctor used a tool like this to double check your diagnosis? Or would that make you worry more? Some of MAI DXO's features might show up in tools like Bing or Microsoft Copilot, helping with health-related searches. It won't give full diagnoses, but could guide users with questions or symptom warnings. This kind of AI acts more like a smart helper than a doctor. Still, doctors aren't going anywhere. Medicine needs human connection, listening, understanding, and trust. AI can support doctors, not replace them. The future looks like teamwork, humans and AI working side by side for better care. This could be a turning point, if it's used the right way. The next steps are critical. MAI DXO needs real-world testing. Doctors need training to use it properly. Regulators have to make sure it's safe and fair. And the public needs clear information on what it can and can't do. This isn't the end of doctors. It's more like the start of a new chapter in healthcare one where machines help humans, not replace them. So, what do you think? Would you trust an AI like MAI-DXO with your diagnosis? Or does it feel like too much too fast? Let us know in the comments. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.